Jostling and pushing, all in the name of science. In today's experiment at an empty exhibition hall, this crowd remains relatively calm. But the same situation at a football stadium or concert can quickly become life-threatening. In panicked crowds, bottlenecks can become a killing zone where people are literally crushed to death. The goal of this study at Udich Research Center is to help prevent potential tragedies. In the Basigo project, we work together with fire departments, police and security services to discover more about how we can improve safety at major events. Around 700 test subjects are taking part in the project. Cameras document exactly how people behave in crowds. Each participant wears a hat bearing a barcode, allowing the researchers to track each individual. One important experiment is finding out how long paramedics need to make their way through the crowd. We provide this data to other researchers all over the world. Anyone can access it. It's on our website. There you can watch the video footage and download the paths people took during the experiment. We're very glad to help out researchers who want to use our data to improve their own approach. The scientists perform experiments in football stadiums, trade fairs and pedestrian zones. Constricted areas are marked in red. The computers collate the information and identify potentially dangerous locations. The results have provided some key insights. For example, the larger the crowd, the more restricted the choice of an individual. If panic broke out right now, many people would have problems with orientation. Only clearly marked signs can help prevent chaos. Each person in a moving stream of people is an individual who hasn't coordinated their actions with the others. In a sense, everyone goes with the flow. So if the crowd isn't able to develop the intelligence to find the best solution to a problem, we have to do more to induce it from the outside. Then the researchers discover something new. In this experiment, they've placed a pillar in the middle of the room. It simulates a situation similar to a traffic intersection. It's a kind of roundabout like those found in many European cities. They're astonished at how the crowd participants react. Adding the pillar actually helped the situation. Even though putting it there meant less space for the people in the intersection, it still helped prevent congestion. You could really confirm the result visually. Now we have to quantify the data to be able to say what will happen when a crowd is moving at a certain speed or has a certain density. That'll take six months. But the things that we just saw were very interesting. The scientists at the Ulich Center have been studying crowd behavior for 10 years now. Their results have contributed significantly to preventing potential catastrophes at football matches and other huge events.